It has been, you know, a challenge for all MPs over the last few months, not least because our email inbox have been filled uh, with stories of difficulty and hardship um, from our constituents. Um, and having to make these kinds of decisions is really hard. After a Labour motion following a campaign ran by England footballer Marcus Rashford was voted down in the House of Commons, local Conservative MP Simon Clark from Middlesbrough South has defended the result, stating that since the pandemic the government has added over £9 billion to the welfare system, £16 million to food charities and universal credit has increased by £1,000 a year. But despite government support, the North East has struggled hugely with the issue of child poverty. Marianne Allen, a head teacher from Northumberland, has donated £15 to each family that receive free school meals to keep her pupils fed over the half-term break. Ideally from government, what I'd like to say is actually they're listening to people who work in these areas and I understand that there's huge financial restraints now and, there's, and COVID is costing millions, billions of pounds but actually we're arguing here about children and their very basic needs being met. So I would urge the government to talk to people who work with these kids, to talk to these families directly affected by COVID before they make these decisions over £2.75 per child per day. This isn't about what people's views are. Um, I've seen lots of negativity on social media and things about, you know, it's not um, the government's job to be a parent. We're talking about children and there's no person who doesn't want the very best for every single child um, so we've got to put the politics aside here and we've got to do what's right and if you can have a 22 year old footballer who can go out there and get his voice used and be heard then actually we need to join them and to make change and to make movement people have to stand up for what's right